Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about data types. We will start by answering two key questions. What are the data types and why do we need them? So what are the data types? Data types are used to define kind of data that variable can hold. They help us to organize and work with different types of data effectively. Think of them as way we group the animals based on their similarity. Similar type of animal lives in the same place. For example, human lives in city. Wild animal lives in forest. Penguins make their home in Antarctica. Fishes, well they live in water. Why to separate them this way? To avoid chaos and conflict. Just like animal kingdom, in programming we want our data to be organized. In programming, data can be numbers, words or character. Data types help us to define what kind of data that variable can hold and how we can use it. They provide structure to our data, making it easier for computer to understand and process. Java has 8 primitive data types. First is a boolean. It is used for storing true or false information. Next is a character. It is used to store single character, like letter. Next 6 data types are used to store number. So these data types are byte, short, int and long. It is used to store different sizes of whole number. You can see the allowed range for each data type on your screen. Next is a float and double. It is used for storing the numbers with decimal places. Depending on the size and precision of a number, we choose the appropriate data type. There are 8 primitive data types in Java. But Java has more complex data types as well, like strings and arrays. We will see this data type in future. Syntax for declaring the data type with a variable is same for all the data types. First comes name of data type, then name of variable, then equal to operator, then value of the data. For example, we can use for declaring boolean, boolean a is equal to true. For character, char b is equal to j. For integer, int c is equal to 10. For long, long d is equal to 100 and so on. You can see the syntax on your screen. Remember, you won't use all the data types in every program. For now, focus on integer, string and boolean data types. We will use them in future videos. That's it for today's video. Hope you understand the concept of data types. See you in next video.